Hello, hello, hello. It's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. As you can see in today's video, I have a new surprise. So if you're interested in seeing this flip through, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I truly appreciate your support. Now, I'm going to get right into this because it literally just came in the mail and I'm so, so, so excited. So y'all know that I've been trying to figure out this whole planner thing. Um, and yeah, I still have not come up with a plan that better suits my needs. Um, I have been watching... Tons and tons and tons and tons of videos and of co bleh, I can't talk today. Of course, Chloe Tree, who I absolutely love on IG, is a huge Erin Condren person. I used to have some Erin Condrens, but the size was just too big for me. And so I just couldn't figure out how to work it out and I just let it go. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, Erin Condren has literally always been my favorite because I think the paper quality is like superior to all other papers that's just my personal opinion that's just the way i feel no hating on anybody else i just I, i'm a sucker for a really good quality paper and i just feel like aaron condra's paper has it so i purchased this in the a5 size which is still a little big but it's not massive i don't have an old aaron Condren to kind of compare the sizes here on camera because I think I've, I guess I've just gotten rid of them over time but I will say that the A5 to me feels like a really good carryable maintainable size for a person like me that now pretty much only carries either a backpack or a tote bag I don't really carry purses anymore and if I do they're like a cute little crossbody that I wouldn't carry my planner with me anyway so it doesn't really matter about the size. Now, you guys know I was a pocket person. I've also tried the A6. I've also tried the Mini Happy Planner. And I just, I'm just, and I even tried digital. <laughs> but I'm really, really hoping that this particular size, back to Erin Condren, which I absolutely love, will be perfect for me. So anyway, here is the cover. I absolutely Love these little dumplings and wontons and all of those things that they're that they have out in the stores right now. So when I saw this cover, I just had to get this one. And then I bought some other covers that will be coming in the mail soon. So I'll show you that as well. But I absolutely love this like teal turquoise color. I hope you can see with the gold detailing. So I went ahead and upgraded mine for the gold coils just so that it you know kind of would coordinate and then of course I added my name down here on the bottom in gold and then Erin Condren planners do come with this very efficient snap ruler which I love I'm gonna keep that off for now and then it also came with some stickers and yeah some stickers that you can use for gifts and then like a cute little like welcome card so all right, let's look. This is literally the first time I've seen the inside, so I'm so excited. Ooh! So it's welcome to the EC family. And there are some more freebies in here. And like I said, I purchased with Erin Condren before, but I honestly do not remember the login information. <laughs> so I kind of had to start my account over, which is why it's telling me welcome, even though like I've already purchased with them before. But here we are. So here is some of the little cards, which are super cute. And unfortunately, I do not remember the names of all of these, but I know that these are the new prints that are out right now. Um, so this one says, follow your passion and ignite your potential. You are capable. You are beautiful, capable and worthy. I love that one. And then even when it seems impossible, continue to believe in yourself. I wish I could remember the names of these colors, but I don't. But I do know that I chose this particular pattern for the inside of my planner. Then you get these stickers, which also look like gift tags or labels, which is cool. 
And then, of course, I have my codes, my 20% off codes so that I can use it for myself and then also share with a friend. So that's exciting. Oh, and you got, I don't know if you guys noticed my table, but oh my gosh, funny thing. So I got really tired of looking at the film and realizing how horrible my desk looked just because of like normal wear and tear. If you purchase the desk, I purchased this desk from Ikea a while back. And it's just like that matte white top with the legs you, you know, you can piece together yourself. If I ever purchase this again, I will make sure to go get like a pex piece of pexi glass or glass or something to put on top of it because the white gets destroyed immediately. But look at Dollar Tree coming through. So these are just literally those peel and stick stickers that they have at Dollar Tree on occasion that I just stuck on the table today because I was just tired of the dirty white look. So yay, Dollar Tree coming to the rescue once again. So anyway, here's the cover, beautiful. Here's the back, beautiful. Then you have this piece of vellum here. Of course, this is where your name goes. The very best plans emerge when different perspectives meet. And I just love the brightness of this. It's funny because normally I'm a very neutral kind of person, but something about these colors like really made me happy. Um, you get the 2022 and 2023 calendar here. Then it comes with your 12 boxes so you can put your goals or future things or I've seen people put birthdays in there. I mean, there's the in, the possibilities for this are endless. What I don't see, which I think is strange, is if you use this for something else, I haven't really been seeing people cover this part up. So I guess they just like the quote perhaps but I just feel like if this is like a birthday tracker or something then these words wouldn't necessarily be like part of the birthday vibe I don't know but anyway I don't know what I'm going to use this for but if I don't use it for like goal tracking then I probably will color those up either with stickers or washi tape just so that it like makes sense to me so this book starts in July <clears throat> I believe I did choose the 12 month option so I'm going to just kind of flip through July and then the rest of it, I'll just show you the covers because it's obviously redundant, like the pages are the same. But July says your potential to succeed is infinite. Then you get the blue across the top, your monthly calendar. Here's like a blank note page, your dashboard page. And then I chose the compact vertical layout because I absolutely love this layout. Like even in all of the planner sizes, this has been my favorite of the layout so I decided to go ahead and get this again in the A5 so you can see the blue kind of goes throughout so I'll flip over to August which is yellow a goal without a plan is just a wish so you can kind of see the yellow there here's September and purple follow your passion and ignite your potential October is this really beautiful orange Imagine the possibilities if you're brave enough to try. I like that one. November is blue. Forever cherish every moment with those you love. December green. Focus on the possibility. Focus on the potential for greatness, not the possibility of failure. Well, I like that one. And these are really cool because you can actually like when this planner is done, take these and cut these out and these will be really great like motivational quotes to kind of have hanging around in your office space or workspace or home or wherever you hang things january says discover the power when you choose to connect february the best way to predict your future is to create it love it Ooh, march is beautiful my birthday month i love this color when you find balance you find peace here is April, the strongest version of yourself can emerge from the toughest of circumstances. Love it. May is like a coralish color. Let go of what you can't control and just breathe. June, beautiful. Work a plan and with a plan and hard work, you can achieve anything. Here is July. When it seems impossible, continue to believe in yourself. So those are all of the months. Again, I absolutely love this size. In the back of this, you do get, let's see, a, uh, a couple pieces of note paper. So you have this one on the back of this one, and then this obviously double-sided one. And then there's one, two, 
three, four sheets of note paper, which is nice. The Heritage and Awareness Observances sheet, the Let's Keep in Touch page. Then you have the 2024 calendar, which is awesome for future planning. Here is like the back and then you get a couple sticker pages, which is super cute. So the stickers match the theme. Gosh, I wish I could remember what this is called. It's going to drive me crazy. I need to go look. Um, so you have that page of stickers and then this page of stickers. This beautiful folder in the back. Gorgeous. That gold detailing is incredible. And then all Erin Condren planners, to my knowledge, come with this perpetual calendar, which I do actually use from an old Erin Condren that I have. And I do actually use it. So it just literally looks like this. And you can add all of the important dates and everything. And so every year when it's time for me to complete my new planner, I do take a look at this so that I can just write down those things that never change, like birthdays and anniversaries and things like that. And then here's the wonton in a million little label here. And I've already shown you the back. So I absolutely love this. I would like to do a size comparison though. So give me just a moment. I'll be right back. So just to kind of compare sizes because, well, more than anything, I'm a little bit curious. I did go ahead and pull out my Happy Planner, like the mini, and it's not too, too much bigger. Like, I mean, it's obviously bigger and it's, you know, quite a bit thicker, but it's not a ton bigger, which is cool. And then again, just another little comparison, like this is the pocket size. So kind of like a small medium large thing going on here but the size compared to from the HP mini and the a5 Aaron Condren it's not really that much different in size so I think it'll still be comfortable enough to carry around we're gonna find out and if not then I will find another purpose for it something that I can you know kind of keep at home and use but I'm hoping that it'll be functional enough to carry around with me. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you not, have not already done so, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post new content. I know that there will be a bunch of new Erin Condren content coming up just because I have a few more things that I have purchased that I would obviously like to show you in the future. So Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.